This is my 1963 Colchester Student Mark 1.5. It is the dime model due to the fact that the bed doesn't have a gap. And I bought this about a year ago now and I've used it on a, few, a number of jobs. However, when I bought it, it came with a tracer unit and I've never had the opportunity and reason to use it. However, I have a few projects coming up where it would be very handy. The tracer unit itself um, works very well. I've, I've had it powered. It's a hydraulic unit. I've had the pump up and running. I've replaced the hydraulic oil with fresh oil. And the actual unit itself moves under, under power and you can put pressure on the stylus and it resets and, and traces out. However, along the back there is a beam. Um, I'll mo move the camera in a minute and show you. And that beam is used to mount the items that you want to copy, that you want to trace. And it should have two um, supports, two rests that run along this beam. However, when I bought the lathe, they were missing. So this project is to build a pair of rests that will go on this beam, similar in, to, in design to the, um, to the original one. Um, I have actually found online some images. Um, I will put some high resolution ones on video. So my, my overall plan is to build similar, a similar pair of rests to these. Here's the, uh, the main beam. Now the tracer unit hydraulic um, pump is below and the items that you want to copy, that you want to trace, are mounted directly on this beam. Uh, this is attached to the bed of the lathe using these supports and it can be loosened and positioned in any in any angle you like. At the moment it's just bolted down in no uh, real position however it can be moved anywhere on this rest likewise at the front of the lathe. So my plan is to build two rests that will mount on this beam and that will slide along that can be locked and that can be positioned. So in theory it will be two rests that act as um, lie as centers. Along the top of the rest there will also be a T-slot. This will allow me to mount templates that are of a strange shape. Um, they may not be round, they may be flat. I'm planning, um, I'm not 100% sure if it will actually work, but I'm planning to print shapes on the 3D printer which will act as, the, as a template that can then be traced out. However, before I can do that, I need to build these rests. So that, that is what this project is going to be. My design of the rest is based on this image here. And it shows a pair of rests on a beam which is identical to the beam that's mounted on the back of my student. This image, I believe, shows a master. However, the actual mounting arrangements are identical. With, the, with this particular version, there are three mounting brackets. There's one just out of sight here. Whereas with my student, there's just the two. But the overall design is identical. This is the design that I've come up with. So we have the main body of the rest. We have a T-slot along the top. There is a center that can be adjusted. A knob that allows the center to be moved in and out. Underneath, there is a block which engages with the rest, with the beam. This is pulled into place and tightened using this other knob here, which goes through a bush through the main body of the rest. I have already got the steel blocks for the rests. These are 10 by 10 by 15. And I have also started cleaning. So. I did this earlier on, so this is just um, all of the scales been taken off, it's just been machined down, um, square edges, square sides, ready to be marked up for further machining. So my plan is to make this into a uh, multiple part project, 
This is just the introduction video to give people an idea of what I'm actually doing. Um, there may be two or three more videos to follow after this, following each of the, the steps. So hopefully over the next week or so, I will um, finish this project and you will then be able to see the tracer unit in action. So thanks for watching. If anyone has any questions or suggestions, please uh, drop me a message. I'm more than happy to listen to any ideas that anybody may have. If anybody has a similar setup with the tracer unit, and has experience operating it, please let me know. I'm, um, I've never used it before, so this will be a, a, a steep learning curve, I'm sure, but I'm more than happy, more than willing to listen to ideas and suggestions. Thanks for watching.